what do you call Iron Man with no clothes on? Well, he's stark naked. Ha <laughs> ha. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And sorry for that bad joke, but I haven't done one of those in a little while, so thought I would add some quote unquote entertainment to my videos. And to, let's see, uh, make sure this is in here. All right, we got ourselves a key Silver Age issue. I actually have this book already, but one of the things I always tell people is, especially if you can get good deals, and this is definitely going to fall under that category, um, it's always beneficial to get multiple copies if you can, especially when it comes to key issues, because... If you ever want to sell one, or even better, trade to maybe get a comic that you're looking for, well, if you have multiple issues, you can do that and still have the comic. So I highly recommend any time you can get multiples of a, especially like I said, a key comic, to try and go for that, and you'll be very happy that you did, especially if it comes down to the point that you want to do a trade or sell one because then you're not going to have that remorse of, oh, I missed the comic because trust me, coming from a person that had a lot of my key issues stolen from me, um, I would rather have multiple copies at this point. So it's either that or maybe I'm a hoarder. Who knows? I'll let you guys decide that. But while I'm opening this up, I just want to make sure I remind people to watch until the end, so this way you can see whose uh, surprise subscriber shout-out is. If you want to be one, you just have to be a subscriber, and if you want one, just let me know, and I will um, speed up the process. Just keep in mind that it will take a little while because of the fact that a couple of people have already asked, so be patient. All right, so they did what you guys know I love, which is taping the living you-know-what out of it. But it looks like everything is safe, and um, I asked them to put it in a box. So I highly recommend doing stuff like that because this box, as you can see, got a little damaged. So putting it in a box and putting the cardboard around it absolutely protected it so good job with the seller um it doesn't always guarantee they're actually going to do it but it's a lot better chance than if you don't mention it at all because not everybody knows or cares how to properly uh send the package now i do have a video teaching that so check the playlist if you're interested in that it's a very easy way without all that tape so anyway this is a uh, Silver Age comic book. This is definitely one I would highly recommend. Got a really great deal on this. Cannot wait to show you. So here we go. So you don't have to wait any further. And this is my second copy of Detective Comics issue number 359, which is the first appearance of my cat, as you can see, which is I kind of ironic because that is Batgirl. I don't know the irony because I was for a second I thought maybe it was Catwoman, but uh, yeah, cats like to this to uh, change everything. So this tape is not on the comic; it's actually on the bag. But this is probably in a 2.0 to 3.0 range. Um, obviously, I will have to open it up to check it out. But this book, even in a 0 0.5, goes for about 200 to about 250 dollars. And this is one of those times where I tell people, if you put in the work, you're going to be rewarded by that effort after time. This was a newly listed book with a buy it now option and a bid. The bid was going to start at 49 but with the price I saw it for a buy it now, I had to jump on it really quick because somebody would have placed a bid on this book. So with shipping and handling, I paid a total of $182.66 for this book. As far as they said, the staples are intact. Everything is connected. It's just, as you can see, you know, there are some color-breaking creases. There looks like a little bit of a tear right here. Uh, but overall, I mean, there's some color breaks along the edges, not major amounts. There's a couple of color-breaking creases 
especially in this corner. Not major amounts, but like I said, this would easily be a 3.02, like a 2.5 to a 3.5 range now that I look at it, which for that price is basically a steal. So, um, sorry about the glare. That's one of the things about my laws is it shows a lot of glare. But I will open this book. I will check it out. But for that price, I mean, like I said, uh, this could come back a 0 0.5 and uh, I'd still make out. So looking pretty good for that price. And if anything, I want to keep showing people to not give up, not assume that just because something is expensive or something you don't think you can afford, that deals cannot be found. You have to put in the effort if you want to reap the reward. If you're just sitting around crossing your fingers or saying, oh, I'll never find it, well, you're not going to search, and what a surprise, you don't find them. So I hope people, especially if you watch video after video of mine, and you see the deal after deal that I get purchasing on eBay, sometimes you make deals happen, sometimes they just fall into your lap. Because like I always say, people ask me, you know, you know, what's my secret? And I have a video uh, talking about my eBay secret, so I hope you check that out as well. But um, I never hunt for a specific book. I just look at the newly listed books and ending soonest books. And then um, if something catches my eye that I feel is important or something I'm interested in, if the price is right, I'll make the bid, I'll make an offer, or I'll buy it now. This was definitely a buy it now because it was $180 and it was two sixty six dollars shipping, I believe. So it came out to the one eighty two sixty six. dollars So for under $200 for a complete book... Um, I wasn't about to take the chance of, you know, doing the bid that started at forty nine ninety nine because I'm sure it would have ended up higher than that. So sometimes you just got to pounce and not just try and get even a cheaper deal. I mean, when it's lower than what it's supposed to be by a 50 to to $100, you know, don't try and take advantage and ask for deals because by the time you get a response, the book's probably already sold. So you have to know when is the right time to make an offer and when you need to pounce right away. So that's exactly what I did. And hopefully you guys and gals will do the same thing in the future for your comics. So that is it. That's Detective Comics 359, first appearance of Batgirl. For those of you who love my cats, you got my cat just out of nowhere, just leaping in and kind of throwing me out off balance because I wasn't uh, waiting for that to happen. I think he just likes being on camera. And again, if you wait until the end, see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you would be so kind in the comment section with whatever comment that you are kind enough to leave, um, give a little shout out to the person I give a shout out to because I'm sure they like those kind of things. Otherwise, people wouldn't continuously ask for them. So help me out by helping them out. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And let's zoom in. And I would love to know where they attach those ropes to. And will they be hitting poor Batgirl? Who knows? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy.